Hey everybody, this is John Hiley with DentTrainer.com and Dent Magic John Paintless Dent Removal and PDR Training. Uh, coming to you today to bring you my initial response and a little bit of a tool review on this, uh, the brand new Shane Jacks Jackhammer. Um, right off the bat, it's quite obvious the difference. It is longer. I did go ahead and take measurements of this tool. It is 17 and a half inches long, and the original jackhammer, the shorter version, is 12 and a half inches long. Basically what that means, it's going to get you five inches further from the dent that you're working on. So when you need to get back and get that distance and get that length, you've got an additional five inches that you can step back and maybe uh, blend out a little bitty wave or something like that that you're going to need that tight reflective angle. I find myself quite a bit using long blending hammers to finish out um, rail damage and even larger dents that just need that finishing touch or you see a little bit of a crown wave from a tight reflective angle. Um, looking at this, I went ahead and messaged J Shane about this this morning. I have not heard back from him yet. However, when I feel these two, it seems like they're just about the same weight. Uh, one of the differences, I think, that um, makes that happen is all of these holes that are through the center here, and it's a much more st stylish hammer than the original uh, Shane Jacks hammer here. Uh, now both of them do have their place in my arsenal. This one right here definitely for close-up blending, working on a rail, but when you need that real tight you know, uh, that distance yourself from that damage to blend out that last little bit. I think this right here is going to be my go-to tool. Um, again, they do feel like this about the same weight. It seems like they're balanced, both balanced really well. Um, and you're never going to have a problem with this hammer breaking. That's one thing that I do love about it. It is a solid piece of aluminum. And because of that, I mean, you would have to be doing something torturous to this tool to actually bend it or break it. So this is definitely a lifetime purchase. Uh, it does have the same tips as the uh, traditional Shane Jacks. The, um, this one will be 12 and a half inches long. Uh, this one again, 17 and a half inches. They do come with the exact same tips and they do come with a plastic knockdown tip on the other side. Uh, I find myself using the, uh, the polished tip here. Uh, much more often than the plastic tip. However, both of them do have their place and sometimes it's just what you need is a nice plastic tip. Um, now I did check the length on, uh, on a vehicle and as you can see here, obviously it extends out an additional five inches and uh, on this truck side that I'm on right here, if I had a dent that was pretty far out towards the middle of that truck bed, I would need that additional uh, length. So. That's the differences right here. It's definitely a much more stylish. So if you care about that, it just looks really cool with all these holes that it has in it. And I assume that was for the weight and the balance of the tool. However, it just does make it much more stylish. Um, same handle that we have right here. However, the one thing that I found interesting, as soon as I put this in my hand, I found myself gripping a little bit higher into the handle. Now what that tells me is that I was trying to get distance out of this one. So I was taking this one and putting it mid hand to get that additional distance. However, whenever I picked this up, my initial response was to grab it right in the middle of the handle, resting my thumb on the actual shaft of the hammer here. And that's great. I, I really think uh, I'm gonna end up picking this one up quite a bit more often than the smaller one. Uh, but again, that being said, I think both of them will be a great addition to your arsenal. Um, it's real nice to see Shane innovating and coming out with something like this. So anyhow, guys, that is my initial response on this tool. And as time goes on, I'm going to update when I can use this on a hail damage rail and when I can use it on some advanced damage, I will continue to keep you updated. So anyhow, John Hiley with uh, DentTrainer.com and DentMagic PDR Training. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.